In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the PC version of CapCut. So CapCut has been around for a while, but I never used it because I'm comfortable with what I already use. I mostly use Camtasia for video editing, which I know that's mostly for like online presentations. I didn't want to have to relearn all of my video editing skills for a new software. That's why I don't use Adobe Premiere. I don't feel like I have the time to learn something new, but CapCut is very easy to use and it has all the features that I want and all the features that I need. Best of all, it is free. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at all the features and I'm gonna be doing somewhat of a review. But first, I gotta give you guys my disclaimer that this video is not sponsored. I have no affiliation with anyone involved with CapCut. I'm doing this video on my own because it is helpful to other people and I'm a YouTuber. I'm always trying to find little ways to make my video editing process easier and uh, this definitely helps. It's also worth keeping in mind that this software is free, which I did not believe at first. I was like, why is it free? At this point, we already know that nothing is really free. There's always a little bit of a catch at the end, uh, you know, normally advertisements or anything like that, but CapCut does not have any ads. It has in-app purchases, but those are mostly for premium transitions and filters that you really don't need. Uh, that's just if you wanna be extra. Every time I was editing a video, I felt like I was just waiting for an ad to pop up that said, oh, your trial has expired, or we hope you was enjoying it. Now it's time to pay, I don't know, $10, $20 a month. Uh, and no, that is not the case with this app. Anyway, that's enough for the intro. As you can see right here, I already have an old video loaded up. Uh, this is from the Luxury Technology Show in New York. So this is a old video. I figured let me do this as an example. Okay, so there are a lot of features on this app. I'm not gonna go over all of them. I'm just gonna go over the main ones that I like and the main ones that are helpful. So CapCut already has open source music, which really does come in handy. If you just need some basic music in the background, it's right there if you wanna use it. Let's move over to text. And one of my favorite features about this app is the auto captions. So it automatically recognizes the speech in the audio and it will translate it to text. And this has been super handy for me. I've been doing this manually for years. So I'm glad that it finally has this feature now. All you got to do is click on text, go to auto captions, and then click on create. Obviously, you can pick your language. I think it can recognize your speech and it could translate it into another language. So that could be handy if you want to like launch another channel um, in a different language. If you want to do that, I'm just saying, I'm not saying you should do that, but just in case you want to. So after that, you just got to click on create and let's see how well it did with the translation. I have not seen this video in a long time so let's just go ahead and see so this is a interview video i did a few years ago about some ar glasses this is the, actually the first ar glasses that i saw at a tech event but that's another story okay as you can see over here it translated the text i remember this video was very noisy so it didn't pick up all of the audio but if you have clear audio it should have no problem translating the text and once it translated the text you can go ahead and edit it you can change the style you can make it bold, you can make it bigger. I recommend making it a little bigger like this, a little smaller. Okay, and there you go. That is auto captions. That is easily one of my top five features of this app and it is free. I remember like a year or two ago, there were services that this was a paid feature and now it's free. So that is very handy. Take advantage of that feature. Also, of course, you got video effects so you can make it, you know, like pop in, pop out and all of that obnoxious stuff. Stickers, self-explanatory, especially if you use Instagram or TikTok. You can go ahead and add an arrow. So I can go ahead and do something like this. Point to it, bring attention to certain objects in the video, like that. I can also like, <laughs> I can use the, the blurry. That's so very gonna, handy. Blur out my face, I don't know. There you go. I feel like this whole video could be just 20 minutes of me looking at all the stickers. So they're free also, they're not charging to use them. Okay, now we got effects, which I don't really use because I think they are pretty obnoxious. So this one is a smart shopping. It kind of looks like a comic. This one is edge glow. And you get the idea, the little hearts, uh, old fashioned. Oh, I like this one, the retro video. Let's move on to body effects. So this also, oh, this is, wow. That's cool. So it recognizes my body shape and it adds like a little line around it. Oh, that's cool. If you've seen my videos in the past, I don't really use that. I try to keep my editing very minimalistic. I try and just edit my videos and publish it as fast as possible so I can move on to the next one because normally I have like 
three videos that are planned out. Like after this one, I have my other videos planned out. So I wanted to just get them done so I can move on to the next one. I don't spend too much time with these effects, even though I could spend a lot of time with them. So I'm going to go ahead and add another video just to show you an example of the color adjustment. Because as you can see, it's a little bit dark. So this is a great way to change some of the colors. I can go ahead and click on the video, click on adjustments, and I can change the brightness just a little bit. And right away, you can see a big difference without any obnoxious filters. Just want to make the video a little bit brighter. That's too bright. A little bit. And this is where it gets creepy because I can also adjust like the way my face looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on face and it automatically checked my face. So I can smooth it out even though, yeah, there's no difference. But uh, you can whiten your teeth, which mine are pretty good already. Thank you. <laughs> you can make your eyes bigger. I don't know why would you want that, but you can do that. I don't really see a difference right here. You can also add makeup, which I'm not going to. Well, that's for fun. Let's just do it. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> you can add makeup. That's funny. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, body, you can make yourself a little slimmer. Am I already? I'm already slim. How much slimmer do I need to be? Your, well, my waist is not in this video. Can I make my. Oh, yeah. wow, that's weird. My head did get smaller. Look at that. <laughs> I did not know you could do that. You could change your head. <laughs> if you're subconscious about your head size, you can make it smaller. <laughs> we had our fun. Let's move on. Uh, another feature, the basic. Uh, let's cut the. Okay, this is another really cool feature that I like. So you can click on auto cut out and it will automatically cut out the background without a green screen. So this is a feature that I wish I had a few years ago. Um, even like two years ago, I had an actual green screen with the poles and it was hanging behind me and uh, it took up space. Um, now you can just easily remove the background with one click. You content creators have it so easy right now compared to a few years ago. Okay, and as you can see, it removed the background and it did a pretty good job of it. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect, but it is free, so I will take it. So I can go ahead and make myself smaller. I can put myself on top of the timeline and do a picture in picture. And like, I don't know, let's say that this is a, uh, like a reaction video. There you go. I can put myself in the corner and you saw that only took a few clicks. Again, like two years ago, I had to have a green screen and I had to have good lighting and I had to then use the chroma key. Of course, you can still do that over here. Click on chroma key and remove the background, but this automatically does it. Oh, it's still processing. So that means it's going to get a little better eventually. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's just, so I turned off the cutout because I want to show you a different feature. If you don't want to remove the background, maybe it doesn't look perfect. You can use a cutout. So this is what I've been using. I use a circle. So as you can see, you got a lot of options to make your video your own. You don't have to copy anyone else. You can make it your own style. Animate how this picture comes into the video. So like it kind of like rotated and spinned in. And finally, let's talk about managing your timeline because for some video editors, it can be tricky and it can be hard to manage your timeline. Over here, it's very easy. You got all your normal shortcuts and you can customize your shortcuts on the top right here. You can see everything is listed out very clearly. And over here, you got your voiceover button. And on the left-hand side, you got your split to delete, to freeze. You can do reverse. So like I said before, I've been using this editor for a few days and it feels right at home. It feels exactly how it should. And I definitely think that this is going to be my new editor because I don't see anything wrong with it. So it's safe to say that CapCut is the best free video editor out there right now. For someone like me that's been editing videos for the past probably like 10 years now, it's amazing to see how many pro level features are now free for just anyone to use. So you can download CapCut for free on CapCut.com. And I actually just found out that there's a web version. I feel like I'm a little bit behind. I don't know how long has it been around. The web version is pretty much the same exact thing, but I noticed on the web version, you can upload from Google Drive or Dropbox. And the Windows App Store version does not have this feature. So that is something to consider. So I'll probably have another video talking about some other features. And if they add new features, I'll do another video on that. Or I'll probably talk about some tips and tricks. But for now, let's go ahead and end this video. If you have any questions, you can leave in the comments below or you can reach out to me on Instagram at Ernesto.tech.